Welcome back to Free Speech Nation. Mother Izzy Montague has taken her son's school to court after claiming they forced her four-year-old son to take part in an LGBT pride parade. She wrote to Hevers Farm Primary School in South Norwood, London, back in 2018, asking that her son be excused from attending because it went against the family's beliefs. The school refused and Mrs Montague launched legal action, supported by the Christian Legal Centre, against the school on grounds of direct and indirect discrimination, victimisation and breach of statutory duty under the Education Act 1996 and the Human Rights Act 1998. And Izzy Montague is here to discuss this now. Welcome to the show. <laughs> so, a lot of people would be surprised to hear that a four-year-old would be expected to participate in an LGBT pride parade. That feels like a, a sort of adult activity that people choose to get involved with. Uh, what were the circumstances surrounding this? So, um, the school decided that they wanted to celebrate Pride Month. Um, it was June, everyone else was doing it, all the other um, big companies. So, the school said that, yeah, it's something that they wanted to do. Mm. Um, it was um, advertised um, to the parents on a blog that it was about Stonewall, celebrating the gay um, federations and liberations of sexual freedom and they feel like this would be something really good for the school to do and it should end um, with a pride parade mm. um, on the 29th of June. And so you wrote to them and just said, well, you would like your son not to participate? So I wasn't aware, I have to admit, I, I wasn't aware of, of a school blog at this stage. My son was four, I didn't, you know, really... This was quite new to me. Yes. You know, I'm used to the old ways of doing things, a newsletter in a bag. Yeah. So I only became aware of this when an, I, um, I saw an article and a parent had complained about the things that had been going on that month with what their child had been doing in the classroom. Yeah. So I see this article, I'm quite shocked and amazed, and then that's when I get in contact with the school. And what did they say to you? They just said that, um, I, I said, you know, he can't do a pride parade at the end of the month. You know, we're Christian, he will not be able to cel celebrate this. Um, I was told that it's an assembly, all children have to participate, and no children should be excused from any school assembly on whatever grounds. But that's interesting because even the organisers of Pride would, would admit that it is a essentially political uh, event. Uh, and so to try and get a four-year-old involved with politics as, the, <laughs> as though they've even had a chance to really think about these issues, that seems a bit strange. It, it was very strange. Um, we were knocked back with a lot of... Um, I, basically, it's mandatory, these lessons, it's about celebration of diversity. So a way to kind of, you know, get away from the fact that it was LGBT celebrations, it was, it was more to do with the fact that, you know, children are just proud. They renamed it, so it was to do with a pride parade, but then they later renamed it to be proud to be me. Um, and that was just another tactic to, to basically force children to do this. It does feel like uh, a lot of schools are, are sort of very obsessed at the moment with the notion of diversity, Black History Month, Gay History Month, LGBT History Month and this kind of thing. Um, would, would you be happy with having discussions about these ideas in school so long as they, the children weren't expected to uh, participate uh, in, in, a, in a celebratory way, you know, not have a choice? Correct. I mean, I think any type of social um, or social ideologies should definitely be discussed first with the parents. I have no problem if, with any parent not wanting to celebrate something that is quite close to our hearts. So if your child didn't want to march in an Easter parade, if a, if a child wanted, to, if a parent decided that, well, I don't want my child to do that, that has nothing to do with us. We would still participate. But I think it's important that children should be allowed to have an education first. Let's make that the most important thing. All these other social things should be choices and, and it, does, it doesn't really need to take place. Is your concern just what's going on at this particular school or is it a, a broader problem with the, sc the schooling system generally? Exactly. So I think what's, what really made me stand up for, for this was because there wasn't anywhere to turn to. Mm. It was quite clear and quite obvious that schools can just act as authoritarian as they like and force things onto families without any question. And when you decide... I, I was shocked because I was like, this is not right. What, you know, somebody needs to stop this. I was calling everybody. And it, it's quite clear that schools are just allowed to 
ram raid based onto onto families and this is what the extent that you have to go to you have to go to court to stop schools from just doing as they they please do, do you think that a lot of parents are too nervous to say anything about this correct i do think that a lot of parents were are scared of the backlash this mm. is quite a big thing i mean as, the, as soon as we said we didn't want our child to do it it just it was you know ram raid bigoted homophobic, all of these things for just, for you, you know, for your Christian beliefs, the next minute, something that has never, you know, meant that you're, you've been homophobic before and in no other area this is, you know, that you're a homophobic just because you're Christian. But in this, you know, particular situation in the schools, yeah. And those accusations have come your way, have they? Definitely, definitely, you know, the bigoted... And it, this isn't about me wanting anyone else to follow my beliefs. This yeah. is about my son going to school, getting an education and just being able to have his own beliefs. And before we finish, I just want to ask you, Izzy, about other parents. Have you had much support from other people? Do you get the sense that there are other parents within the school who share your concerns but maybe haven't spoken out? Oh, definitely. At the beginning of this, I definitely wasn't alone. There was other parents who were as much forthright about this, but it's the backlash. It's it's really serious, and I, and I do feel it for the other parents. I, I, I understand that, you know, if you're sending your child to a school that has such strong views, mm. how will they treat your children? My child was in, you know, a, a three-hour detention after this whole thing when I complained. So there's no doubt that people do feel that they will be, you know, victimised and, and, and all sorts. So, yeah, you know... Very interesting. Well, Izzy Montague, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you really for having me. Peebus Farm Primary School did kindly send us a statement uh, which read in part, As a school, we have a duty, as stated by the Department for Education and reinforced by the Early Years Foundation Stage Framework, to promote fundamental British values. The teaching covered a range of curriculum-compliant topics, including celebrating diversity, challenging stereotypes, black history, women's history, LGBT communities, the environment, mental health and disability awareness, among other things.